Welcome back. In this next video, we're going to lay out the multi-cavity. In this case, it's just going to be a simple two-cavity mold. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and start by going up to my mold tab and then choosing the multi-cavity command. The first thing the multi-cavity command asks you for is what kind of repetition you'd like to make, what kind of pattern. In this case, I'm going to choose a simple circular pattern about the z-axis going 180 degrees. Next, I would like to repeat these two parts. Awesome. Go ahead and validate and I'm done. Now, in this case, I left them as independent parts, but maybe in your case, you want them as one block. So we can go back and edit that, choose monoblock, and validate. And like that, now it is two cavities in one block. Nice and simple. From here, what I want to do is I want to add some mold base. So I'm going to go to my mold base command. We'll give it a sec as it loads up. I'm going to start by maybe rotating my part in there. I want it 90 degrees. And you know what? Maybe I don't need a 16 by 35. Maybe 16 by 23 is enough. This is, again, just to show you that you're always in control in Top Solid. You can set the values you want and work with the software in any way that suits you. Now, in this case, my ejector plate here, as you can see, was a little bit longer. And the reason it's longer is because it is an option from DME. In this case, I don't want the plate to stick out, so I'll choose the shorter length. Next, I'm just going to quickly look at it from the side, and I'll adjust the height of everything. Maybe I'll go to 3 and 3 eighths for this. There, it's recalculating everything. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Maybe in this case, I want to go to 2 inch 875. Who knows? Again, you can set these to whatever plate thicknesses you want. It's the whole point. Let's go ahead and green check mark this, and now our mold base is created. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to process that cord and cavity block out of the A and B plate. Maybe we'll treat them as if those are going to be cut in solid, why not? And then we'll throw some injector pins in just for good measure.